I want to bring in Naomi Schaefer Riley. She's a New York Post columnist, and she is the author of a brand new book, which is very, very good. What's the name of it? It's called The New Trail of Tears How Washington is Destroying American Indians. Very interesting. Now, I want to talk to you about how Washington, in my opinion, has destroyed our inner cities, specifically on education, because you're an expert in that area. I think, I'm, I'm, I've got to be in my bonnet about this, I think the worst thing that the Democrats have done to African Americans in our society is to deny them school choice. Am I out of line? No, you're absolutely right. They have denied the educational opportunities that every American child should be given. And they have done this for, for African Americans, for Hispanics, for poor white people, and for Native Americans, I would say, as well. And it is amazing the extent to which the National uh, Education Association and the other teachers' unions are determining the agenda of the Democratic yeah. Party. It is, it is basically public education in this country is a jobs program for teachers. It's not a way to help poor people get up. What I constantly think about is the look on the faces of young minority kids when they're trying to get into a charter school in New York City, the Success Academy, for example. Their, their, their lives depend on it, and the Democrats want to take that school choice away. Absolutely. I'm just appalled at this. No, from Bill de Blasio to Hil Hillary Clinton, it, it is amazing how it goes up and down the line, the support for this. And in fact, the teachers' unions in Cleveland are actually about to go on strike because they don't want uh, teachers to have to be subject to merit pay. They don't want to have teachers, you know, evaluated the same way the rest of the country is. This is, the teachers in Cleveland are about to go on strike, they don't want merit pay? Right, they don't want to have to... They don't to, want judgment? No, of course not, and especially not based on test scores, they don't want to have to be accountable for the job that they're doing. Now, I don't know whether you're a Trump supporter or not, I don't care about your politics, but last night... Not at all. <laughs> well, I've got a certain interest. <laughs> Stop needling me. Okay. <laughs> last night, Donald Trump made a direct appeal to the people in the inner cities. What have you got to lose, he was saying. You, what, what do you got to lose? If you don't vote for them, you vote for me. Look, absolutely. I mean, I think that, you know, this, he, is, he should have started this a long time ago. I really do wish that he would have actually gone to an inner city and actually talked to some black people in the audience, too. I mean, I think it would have looked a lot better. This, obviously, support for charter schools and school choice has long been a Republican talking point, but I don't think that they are ever really doing the work that needs to be done to get in there. And to tell you the truth, the thing that disappoints me also about Donald Trump is that, as you know, in New York City, we have some amazing businessmen and philanthropists here who have supported charter schools, who have given millions of yes, dollars, who have given scholarships to kids to go to Catholic schools, and I don't think that Donald Trump is among them. And so I really would have liked to have been able to see him point to such a record, people like, you know, Paul Tudor Jones, people like uh, Eli Broad, who have really supported these kind of alternatives. It would be nice to see that. Well, maybe if you prod hard enough, uh, giving his new direction in the campaign, maybe he'll listen to you now. That's right. This is the time. Yes, it is. Naomi Schaefer Riley, thanks for joining us as always. And we like that book. Uh, Charlotte, what's the name of it again? The New Trail of Tears How Washington is Destroying American Indians. Well, there's a story. Come on back <laughs> and tell us about that. I will. Thanks, George. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Naomi. All right.